out everyone out there. Hope you all are doing well. The storm near my house right now is continuing. It's being a little windy, but let's see if I can get through this mission. So we are continuing the Allied invasion of Sicily. Here's Guardian Angels. I'm assuming that with the new HD capture card, you all can read the text fine. But basically, amphibious assault. Battle plans call for a beachhead several miles wide. We're doing our landing, like a little miniature D-Day before real D-Day happened. So, not going to change any of the settings. Let's get underway. You know, in the last video, I mentioned um, Ace Combat 04, and that was my favorite flying uh, game, my favorite kind of fighter uh, pilot type of game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an arcade series, but it has so many cool battles. And I know this is historically based, so you can't do all the same stuff. But I think building up your pilot the way they do in Ace Combat 04 would have been a really good idea here. And building up some kind of famous opponent. I mean, the Germans must have had some kind of top ace. I mean, I know the Red Baron was World War One, but they must have had somebody. And you could have built up this epic battle... You know, even, even if you have a couple of liberties with history, you could have built up a cool battle where, like, you take on their ace um, over the Reichstag or something. Ah! All right, what have I got here? This is a Spitfire, I believe. The famous English plane. Also, I know maybe I'm being a little bit selfish here, but couldn't we have like an American in the game? I mean, if we're gonna focus on a bunch of different pilots, anyway. I know this focuses on the European theater, but, you know, it, it would have been nice... It would be nice to at least have some game focusing on the Pacific, and there have an American pilot. Look, this plane is a little unwieldy. I feel like it's battered around by something. But when you turn, sometimes it doesn't do what you expect it to do. Which I think is fine. I think that's just how the plane handles. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a design flaw in the game. Alright. So I was informed on a by a comment on my video where I sunk that huge ship in a couple of minutes that you're supposed to aim for um what what's it called the place where they keep all the ammunition, which is a little bit towards the front of the ship when you aim to sink the ships. So keeping that in mind, I have now become a bit better at sinking yeah. ships. Well, assuming I hit them. And it does make sense. I don't, I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. I mean, I guess I'm just not used to even the slightest bit of realism in this type of game. So they're, they're trying to shoot down all my friends. I'm not in a bomber anymore. I can't afford to take them. Hits and just keep going. Roger, we'll go. So I've always found the AI in this game to be good enough. It's not impressive AI, but, you know, your friends will actually occasionally do something for you. In the last mission, um, it looked like somebody bombed something without me having to order them to a good target. So, that, that's typically what I find in the game. It's a little surprising when your allies do something helpful, but they will do it. I'm struggling to turn that plane. I'm beginning to worry that I'll actually be more likely to ram into one of my allies in mid-air than I am to uh, actually do anything incredibly helpful. So let, let me back up and try to get a better approach. Because right now I'm just chasing my enemies in circles and it's not a good I guess my airplane is also some kind of hybrid fighter bomber.
Frustrating the pilot this thing. It has this weird thing where it's like it get battered it gets battered around by the wind whenever I try to turn it. Which even if that's realistic on arcade difficulty, that's really annoying. Because I try to turn when my enemy goes past me and my plane starts wobbling around in the sky. Like that, I wasn't trying to go left. I don't know why. I push to the left. It's not a very stable aircraft, I guess. I don't know. I, I suppose that's probably realistic and all, but... Ugh. Guys, can you shoot down at least one of them? Come on. I just got done saying that the AI can be helpful sometimes. Don't, don't let me down now. Ah, jeez. That was probably one of my allies. That was one of... No, it might have been one of the enemies. I'm not sure. I wasn't looking at the mini-map, because I was trying to aim. Ah. Alright, I take back anything good about the AI. Because, to be fair, that was not on me to see. That that was on my ally to see. For me. And that type of thing is why, even though it's tempting, I'm never going to do a mission with only... Uh, one way. That's just not a thing that's gonna happen. If the game were a little bit better at not having shit like that happen, then then I would do it. But you know, I was thinking about whenever I get to the final mission, um, where basically you blow up the Reichstag, you blow up the German government. You know, I've been considering doing that on one life and just being really hardcore. But I mean, if stuff like that happens, I can just picture a flawless performance getting. Completely wrecked by that. Oh, more fighters. Uh -uh. And the thunder outside my house is getting a little louder. Like I said, I also haven't played a whole lot in a little while, so that might be why I'm not doing as well as I might otherwise be doing. But then there's also stuff like that where my plane just was not very maneuverable. In favor of this game, though, I mean, the gameplay is uh, mostly fine, but the music is really epic. I tend to really appreciate the music in this game. You know, it, it, the music, at least, makes you feel like every battle is out. So, whoever did the music, good job. Whoever did the maneuvering for this plane, oh god, why? I also do like that sometimes you don't necessarily have to make a plane burst into flame to take it down, which, which I like. In fact, sometimes I think in this game you can even be real lucky and uh, hit the pilot. So the plane, I've actually seen several times, a plane in decent condition, or even almost you know, like, like it's only taken a few bullets actually completely get taken down. Which I, I can only imagine is uh, the pilot getting shot. Which is pretty cool. Oh, that plane did a cool maneuver. Too bad I'm still right behind. But, good try. A for effort. 
targets. I, I'm not going to take on the anti-air defenses right now. Thank you. Why would I ever take on the anti-air defenses in this situation? Hey, my ally did something. You're cleared to RTP. Roger that, sir. Have a nice day. Alright, I think my secondary is to go at impossibly high speeds and with my more emergency power, which I don't think was a real thing, but whatever. Good, good victory. An excerpt from the diary of Robert Johnson, July the 11th, 1943. I wasn't in the mood to fly today. All I could think about was my beautiful wife and precious new daughter. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And I couldn't have my little girl hearing her pop up as a deserter. My heart was pounding as I dispatched off three destroyers. I swear, I, I know this guy's supposed to be reading from a sites. journal or diary or something. You can say a lot about the Germans, but they sure know how to build them. Man, he's, he's just like this low, flag. rumbling voice. I don't know if my Mustang would hold together. It, it doesn't work to create an interesting narrative. It's going to stop me getting hold of my girls. I just about managed to limp back to base. Got a dressing down from my mechanic for the state of my fuselage. Jeez, <laughs> I'm no card. Ah, but all of a sudden, this war seems even crazier than it did before. I think an inherent problem with this type of storytelling is also that you just end up... Um, you end up telling, not showing. Alright, the, the rule is always show, don't tell. Alright, anyway, in the next video, and the last video I'm doing today, we will conclude the Allied invasion of Sicily.